because last Sunday what we did is we, we really brought in our first deacon. There are really two guys are coming in together, uh, uh, Peter Hogue and David Larson. But uh, trying to get these two together on the same Sunday has been very difficult, and me too. But, so I knew I was going to be gone. I was sick. You were gone. He was gone. So we decided that we would just do it. And so we, we, we brought in uh, uh, Peter Hogue last, this, last time. But we, this is a really a, a monumental part of a stage in the ministry of Redeeming Grace Church. You know, we prayed from the very beginning that we'd be a church that would have a godly leadership, and we didn't want to rush into that. And that includes deacons, it includes elders as well. You know, we're in the process of pondering, considering God's will for a second elder right now, and now to this Lord's Day, we're bringing in a, a, our second deacon. You know, I don't know if you're second or first, or you guys are holding hands walking in here, but we're, we're glad you're both coming in at the, at the same time. Um, what I'd like to do is, is read to you a passage that we looked at last time, and one that we sent out recently to all of you who are members, to remind you of the qualifications of the men that God has called to serve in the office of deacon. The word deacon means what? Servant. And so these are the servants of the church. And they're not the men who come in to do all the work of service. They're to kind of guide us, lead us, so that we all can be servants in the body of Christ. But to be a table waiter in the, in the kingdom of God and to, around God's, in the midst of God's people requires special qualifications. Deacons, likewise, must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. They must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience and let them also be tested first. Then let them serve as deacons if they prove themselves blameless. Now, for those who are married, we have two single men coming in, but uh, their wives likewise must be dignified, not slanders, but sober-minded, faithfulness in all things. Then it goes back in verse 12, but let the deacons each be the husband of one wife, managing their children and their household well, for those who serve well as deacons, and here's the hope, and here's the promise that goes out to both of these men. For those who serve well as deacons gain a good standing for themselves and also a great confidence in the faith that is in Christ Jesus. And I think what part of that, what that says to us as a church is these are men that we need to honor and give honor to them as they serve us. And so we're, we're glad for both of you, for you and, and Peter. Um, what I'd like to do is just have a word of prayer with you, if that's okay, and uh, and uh, I don't know what the meal's going to be next week. See, Pete got in this week, and now he's cooking lunch for us, so we'll see. <laughs> Gracious Heavenly Father, we bow before you with thankful hearts how you have done a work of grace in, uh, in, 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 in this life. Lord, you've taken Dave as a sinner, and at one point you saved him. You brought forgiveness of sins. You brought him the gift of everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Your blessing has been upon him, Lord, all these years. And we're glad, Father, that you have brought him to Redeeming Grace Church and to a point of desiring and willing to serve us, Lord, as a body. You know our needs. Organizationally, we've been limping along as a new church. And, and Lord, now you brought these men to us to help us to, to structure things and to help us in the area of service, Lord. There's so many areas of need. So I pray, God, that you would take them, first of all, I pray for Dave that you would, you, would, you would protect him from the wiles of the enemy. Father, we know that it's, 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 it's the, the enemy who takes, he, he takes his, his sight and he puts it upon those in leadership. And Lord, is oftentimes with a desire to bring them down. And so, Lord, protect him. Lord, sanctify him. We pray, Lord, you would keep him uh, to be a man who would be upright, holy, and, 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 Lord, you would give him victory over sin and the temptations of the evil one. We pray as well that you would take his gifting, Lord, and, and help him use that gifting as he serves us. We pray for, for uh, Dave and Pete, Lord, that you would be with both of them. Help them to work together in unity with one another, with, with, with a heart of charity and Christian love, Lord. And, Lord, that their, their, their service together would be, have a great blessing on this ministry. Lord, we, we love Dave. We, we thank you, Lord, for him. He, we thank you for the gift that you have given us of him. And we pray, Lord, you would take his life, his strength, 
his help, his gifting, and use it for your glory, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So my wife has something she wants to give you. This is a, a token of our love for you. Every man gets an apron, okay? Because a deacon is a table waiter, okay? Lord bless you. Thanks you.